Welcome, guys. We are here for the live book signing I'm of the so lovely <laughs> Melissa Francis and her new book, Lessons from the Prairie, the one and only here. So we are going to have a fun-filled hour with you guys. We have some fun giveaways. We're going to have an excerpt from the book. Melissa is going to sign uh, some books for you and answer some fan favorite questions. So take it away. We have tons of giveaways and all kinds of good stuff. Wait a second, who is this? I'm not sure she introduced hey. herself. This is Jamie Lavella. She's one of the phenomenal producer, talent, news extraordinaire from Fox. Thank, Thank you, you so much Thank for coming you. over Thank and you doing this me. tonight. It's going to be so much fun. I know, we have so a, a glass of wine we're going to pour for us. Oh, yes. Um, so all you have to do to get a signed copy, because I'm going to sit here and sign them. I know a lot of times when you get something at home or you buy something, you're like, did somebody really sign that or was that just printed on there? And I have to tell you, I have signed all of these things. I've spent many nights, but I'm going to do some live for you here as well. You go to melissabook.com. And if you buy one now, we will send it to you. Yes, um, and if you decide to comment and hashtag Prairie Lessons, you will also get a free, fun oh. gift bag. Flower children only. Oh no. Hi guys. Oh no. They wanted, oh no. they heard about the gift bag. Oh no. Hey guys. What you do? Um, <laughs> these are, we don't break anything while you're in here, boys. Um, we're live on Facebook right now. Come on Grace in. Hey. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, we got to be live on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, the whole uh, thing has been derailed now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. so sorry. No, that's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was only kidding. Yeah. I was only kidding. It's just that we want to be on. You okay, should be. Good. Can they good, hear good. us? Um, I remember him with I Janice think everybody Dean's can books, hear you so. for miles and miles <laughs> can around. You, hey, everybody, reply on Facebook. Huh? Can you hear us? Yeah. Let's chat. No, 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 boys. I mean, this is this is like almost over at this point. You're making me very nervous. Sorry, we're going. I love it. I love it. We we wanted we wanted to be on here. Okay, so we're gonna try on one of the very fun gifts. Okay, giveaways. Fun. Can you right. tell me what this is? Oh yeah. It's very cute. This is a flower halo. I love this. Wow. Yes, Ooh, Melissa loves it. Yeah, let me tie for it. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yes, Melissa looks very pretty in the roses. Grace, she's got pretty blonde hair. Please don't pick your nose while every <laughs> all of America's <laughs> watching you. <laughs> there you go. This is I'm beautiful. Not. These are the flower <laughs> crowns. <laughs> Hi guys. You guys want no? Right. No. Yeah, I don't yeah, think no. they need right, flowers in their hair. Thanks, so Jamie. Um, what What I do you think? Does it look good? It looks great. I love it. If there's real flowers, I will not. Honestly, you got. I read this book. It oh. is a really good book. Did you really read it? Yeah, I read. I read the book. I read. I read part of it. I read the parts. I read the parts about me. Well, there you They're go. They're really good, except for this one <laughs> fact. Um, I need a spare copy. I went in the index. Like this. This. You read the me. index? Yeah, I was looking for pages <laughs> about me. Look, this is crazy. Yeah. It, um, if I go to T. <laughs> like this, my mom said, and this is true, I saw, that like this whole book has stuff myself. about me. It does, there's lots about here, you. here, this was made by produce Thompson, only two pages. <gasps> I think but I, you're in it a lot more than, yeah, so I read you a ton so of pages. So your chief complaint, oh, but you know what, see, you, you read it wrong. See all these subtitles underneath? I'm sorry. All, these are all stories about you. They're individually <gasps> listed. So all of this is you. Does that make like the whole book so much better you for you? You were in every chapter. It's not every page. Yeah, that makes the book better for me. How about you? It's like <laughs> oh, oh yeah, now he's quiet. Okay. This is this is <clears throat> nice. So we're live on Facebook. We are, yes. but is, is there is, comments? Yes. Um, I want to see them. There are comments. That then we can reply to them. Well, oh my goodness. We, can, you, can you make me see them? Uh, well, why don't we, you know what, we you're so moving. clever to do that because we're supposed to be taking some of the questions that are sure, popping sure, up sure. right Sure, 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 we could do that. Why don't you read the first, you kick it off for us, read Wait, this but first we need, one. But we need the um, Facebook things that then we can have yeah. the people ask us questions. That's it, no, no, just read the question, that's typed in. <laughs> it's, if if you could share only one lesson from the book, what could it be? After this, we're going to do questions from you guys. That is a question from them. <laughs> no! By the we, way... I, we need I'm, to I'm see sorry the you stole your job. No, that's okay. I'm yeah. enjoying it. I love this. I can love this. Can we see this. the Facebook comments? So, yes, eventually. Yes, one when? second. We can. Okay. Why don't we answer this one? If okay, you could sure. share <laughs> one lesson from the book. Me? Well, sure. You could share one lesson from I, the book. Yeah, you, you start. One? I would share one lesson from the book. 
It's that lesson that's about me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I forgot what it was, but it was very funny. Let, uh, I'll take a, one of the big lessons Please about the book. Please stay here at least. Um, if you can hold still, for, you need to put stay. your legs down and sit properly. And if you can, I think this is not going to last that much longer. <laughs> you guys are wonderful, but let me share one lesson from the book. Okay. Um, so Did one of our lessons know? has to do with uh, this whole idea of superwoman. Um, you know, people come up to me and they say, how do you do it all? You have really obedient children <laughs> and, you know, a job and a husband and, you know, you look put together and all that sort of thing. Well, you guys derail it if you're around. But in theory, if they're looking at like a picture that doesn't have sound, they would say, wow, how do you sort of do that all? And um, one of the things that I want to do is sort of debunk the myth of the superwoman because it doesn't really exist. And I reveal all the sort of secrets of how, you know, our photograph that doesn't have sound is actually kind of a facade, not intentionally so, but it just, there's so many people involved in making everything look great. From my wonderful husband, who helps so much with my kids, to the person who blows dry my unruly hair and paints all the makeup on every morning. I mean, if you saw me before all of this, it looks nothing like this. And everybody out there that you look at that you think is sort of has this perfect, wonderful life really doesn't. And so there's no point in beating yourself up about why you're not as great as this other person you're looking at because the truth is they're not. So I say, don't lean in. In fact, sit down and take a load off. Maybe also have a nice like glass that. of mommy's time out. Not them, just us. This yeah, is yeah, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> yes. you guys are to to the <laughs> uh, We're gonna do one more question with you and then you guys are going to bed. No, we're not going to bed. Uh, so Superwoman, <laughs> definitely not here, obviously. We're not going to bed. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. I uh, call, I call let's let's do a little bit more business over here before we send them away. No, you're not sending us away ever until this is done. You are going to lose all of your computer privileges. Why? All right. Uh, exactly. So all our right, next one, would you Poor watch Jamie. your own? No, this is fine. Okay. Your own <laughs> Little House on the Prairie episodes no. when they air. Why? You know, I. Yeah, why? Why? I'm trying to be involved. You are. You're doing a great job of being very involved. Um, I don't know. It's embarrassing. I it's so it. strange. You were so cute. It's embarrassing. It's hard to watch yourself on television. It's really hard. And I think some people enjoy it, but almost no one. And you have to watch yourself in order to get better. And when I was a kid, I never liked to watch the episodes at all. Uh, are you back? Please don't burp in front I was of just, I, well, I didn't. I was just trying to get okay. to Okay. Um, it, it's really embarrassing to watch yourself. You have to do it in order to get better, but it's hard. And even to this day, I have to force myself to watch my shows after they're on so that you, you know exactly yeah, what I'm talking And it's I painful, do, I, I right? I get embarrassed. I get embarrassed. It's so embarrassing. I have to do it alone. Not for you. No, I mean, I get yeah. I mean, no, I mean, for you, I can watch you all day. Yeah, no, me, no. I get embarrassed. <laughs> no, it's really embarrassing. And so as a result, Ray almost never, my husband, almost never see you should do like a little walkthrough or something like so people know. Um, he almost never sees it because I can't bear to watch myself, especially with an audience. And I don't know, that's part of just like, it's a, you're, we're just really hard on ourselves. I love to watch myself. And then there's that. I mean, what's the next question? Cheers. Have you ever Cheers. considered going back to acting? Ooh, oh, thank you. You're welcome. I want to be helpful. You are. You're being very helpful. Uh, and then there's Giggle Puss over here. He's just giggling. He, he loves he's curling up. Down a little bit. Yeah, he does. I like your um, style. Have I ever considered going back to acting? No, the, the main reason why I got out of acting and into news is because I didn't love saying someone else's words. And I wanted to um, express my own thoughts instead of playing another character on television. And I found that in news because so please keep your legs I'm closed. in a play. Because I'm so much of what. No, I'm not kidding. That's I'm, I'm true. I'm doing a musical. That's I'll true. I'll tell you about it later. That's really? Right. <laughs> like maybe after this question. What's the okay? Name? Yeah, maybe oh, after this know. question. Yeah. So anyway, um, so I I don't. Um, I didn't love doing someone else's words and actions and pretending to be someone else. I liked performing, but with news, it's your own thoughts, especially in what we do. Very little of it is scripted. Like the introduction is scripted when we say, this happened today, so here we react is this person and this person. And then the prompter goes blank and we have a very natural fight or discussion or whatever it is. And it's all my own thoughts and words and that sort of thing. And to me, that just felt better and more authentic. Um, so I didn't. 
I'm also, I'm not sure I was that good at acting. I mean, as a kid, I mean, it's you like you kind of do your thing, cry but on a, as an adult, I don't know. So the anyway, crying was your, was your now call to fame. Now can I tell about my musical piece? Please, please tell so, us, tell us all about your should, musical talk. So, so I'm in this musical. Oh yeah, I could sign a few books while you're <laughs> yeah. chatting. Oh yeah, why, why don't you sign a few books? Okay, go ahead, tell I'm us. I'm in this musical, it's called The Princess, it's called What's Upon a Mattress. Ooh. Um, you can, I like it. there's a movie, so you can search it on like, I don't know, whatever, wherever you get your movies from. Um, it's an old movie, but we're doing a play of it. I'm the king who's mute. Okay, pause for a second to think about the irony of that. He is the king who is mute. <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing. Now, now he, he is. is. Now he got it. What? <laughs> well, cause he's in character. In now. general, you do make a fair bit of sound. So for you to then portray someone on camera who's mute is very interesting. I can't, I, I haven't really seen the performance. I'm really good at it. Gosh, we should try that on the weekend sometime. I want to, no. oh, okay. Anyway, keep going. So you're, you're excited about your performance, right? Oh, wait, there's. Oh yeah, there's, this one's, this one's for you guys. This is a question for you guys. Hey, 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 wait, what's the question? Have your children watched you on Little House on the Prairie? Yeah, yes, yes, I have watched her. And then it says, what do you, what I do have you think watched her. We have, we have these CDs. Um, they're DVDs, all, DVDs. Very, almost the same. They're, they're of mom. Um, oh. There are the episodes that my mom were in. Also, like my friend Lena, she has a book with you with your character in it. So I read that book. I asked Lena if I could borrow that book. She said it's totally sure. I was like back in third grade. Yes. And then I watched a vi I watched. <laughs> yeah. I watched the episode, and I liked it. I think. I think you did a great job. You do? Thank Aww. you. That is so sweet. And you so know what he support. said to me after he watched it was he Ooh. said, did, we, did I grow up in times when there were no cars and oh. we rode horses because we did not have cars? So there was that too, which really fits in the last That's chapter is kind of about aging with grace or, you know, without grace and just <laughs> sort of hating it. So think about the image of, of someone asking you if you grew up, you know, like riding in wagons as you're aging anyway. Are we going to look at Facebook? Um, <laughs> yes. Yes, we are okay. going to look at Facebook. Sure, so let's, can I look? Can I manage? Mm, so, yeah, you want here? You ready? Here, push, oh, oh, gosh. Here, push You're going to give right him there. the tablet? That's hey. good. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You don't want to punch a lot of stuff, hon. I won't. I just want to. Okay. Oh. oh, maybe just. Oh, I see. No, uh, yep, there you go. Tap. Perfect. Okay. Hang on. What's your biggest regret in life? Yikes. Tough one. Um, well... No, are we going to see, like, the live Facebook comments? I'm just wondering. <laughs> so, okay, yeah, we're going to work think... on that. Okay, sure. We're going to work we, on okay. that one. Yep. If we could get that, that'd be great, because then we could answer some, like, questions from the Jill, are you comments. watching this? Can you help us get the live Facebook comments? Jill, can you help us get the live Facebook comments not for me? going to she, I think, Yeah, I think she okay, can handle it. Okay, we're working it. on it. Nope. Okay. Oh, um, somebody just said, don't give the kids the tablets. <laughs> but, 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 no, no, we're not going to listen to that. Pretend they didn't say that. The kid's gonna get the tablet. <laughs> that, wow. I think we, we read that message a little too late. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Sorry. Next. Well, um, can I keep it? He won't ruin it. Um, I won't. I'm just trying to. Actually, okay, so this is the truth. Thompson's really good at technology, and I have to admit this. This is part of the whole not a superwoman, supermom thing. <laughs> I did actually last week get him out of bed after bedtime to fix the printer. And I fixed And did you do it? You printed yeah, it? You did fixed it? Great. it? But I was really frustrated. I needed to print something. Go on, let's answer the question. And I roused him from bed. My biggest regret in life is rousing you from bed oh. to fix the printer after bedtime okay. when you had a test the next day, which he still did awesome on. I'm so sure he did. Okay. Are you ready for the Cheers. next question? Sure, go ahead. That's a good one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Who is Who your favorite, favorite teacher? teacher? Why? Why? Oh, that's tough. Because I had a couple. Who is? Um, no, if out of all of those couple. Okay. Who was your favorite teacher? Okay, he's very pressing. Um, my favorite teacher would have been... Did you get the live Facebook comments Ew. yet? Boy. She's okay. yeah. Oh, You are a taskmaster. You are so few. You are. I'm just wondering. Okay, so my favorite teacher, second grade, Mrs. Sandberg, at um, First Presbyterian what? Weekday School in Granada Hills. Um, I loved her because she was tough. Let's get some... But she was very Can I caring. Sign the book? Um, like, say no. Thompson, you know what? Well, maybe if somebody out there requests it, we could both Wait. sign it or something. Okay, but everybody, the whole point is, oh. if somebody's out there and you want <laughs> me to sign a book, I will gladly sign it. <laughs> and you will get it. 
You guys, we're having a new raffle, another raffle. I bet you, I, um, there still I, is the raffle. She's got some live comments and coming. Chuckles back here too. <laughs> but if you okay. also want a book signed by me, then you can. Um, so Mrs. Sandberg was great. I also had a seventh grade English teacher, Mr. Melcher, who was awesome. And we read The Princess Bride in class, which was amazing and um, inspired a lot of my love of fiction. Um, so yeah, there you go. That was Are you ready for the next question? I absolutely. I can tell who's driving this train. Oh yeah, I'll sign. <laughs> Jamie, I'm sorry these. I oh my dragged God, you here when obviously he's running the thing. But, oh my know. God, no, this is fun. Somebody has to, I have this question, and it actually has two words that I don't know what they mean, so I'm going to need you to explain them to me. I'm just going to figure it out. <laughs> All right, go okay. ahead, tap it. <laughs> I can't wait to see what these words are. I know, We're working on those later. Do you consider oh. yourself an introvert or an extrovert? I don't know what those mean, so Okay, please. so an introvert is like, not you. It's like somebody who has, not you trouble you know like sort of talking in crowds and oh, expressing themselves an and feel extrovert. shy I'm an extrovert. that's probably true i think you are an i think extrovert. that's You're probably right. true um that's a good thing so i am okay so strangely enough i am an introvert i get nervous in big crowds i don't love that i'm not closure is that i wish you, you wouldn't know you would um, not know oh my and gosh. what's funny is there's a lot of talent that's like that um like I felt very self-conscious at my own wedding, you know. Like I just oh. don't. I'm kind of What's this thing? strangely shy, oh, which is hard for people to understand. But I've talked to a lot of other talent who feel the same way, and I don't know what Wait, that phenomenon is. But um, um, yes. I recently interviewed Steve Martin, and it was very similar. And you I know, I mean, on. he was like great and very funny. You were in that one as well. There's a <laughs> there's a pattern here. Do you want me? He actually FaceTimed me while I was on stage with and Steve Martin. And then I said, and then I said, who's Steve Martin? If Steve Martin, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry, sorry about that. It was a little embarrassing, but it was like everybody laughed, so that was yeah. good. If you're watching this, Steve Martin, and I hope you are, I am very sorry. Yes. Is that a band? Yes. Um, yeah. So he said hi, and then he goes, "Who are you?" Or he said, what, "What's your?" Oh, he said, "What's your favorite movie that I was in?" And Thompson said, "I don't know who you are." So that was great. Got lots of laughs. Okay. Um, that was I mean, great. Not your fault. That's question? not your fault. Sure. Um, hey, can Grayson. You say, Grayson. G. G. <laughs> Just sit over here, big guy. <laughs> you are very cute, and I love you to death. Right, it's it's almost question. bedtime. Actually, it's way past it. bedtime. No, we're gonna. They yeah, were just having a dance party. Where is the most beautiful place you've ever been? Oh God. I chose There's that so one. So many. Exactly. You just came back from a beautiful place. Yes. Okay. So one place we love to go to Nassau, Bahamas. There's this place called Bahamas that we love you have the comments? and yet yeah, hun, hun. Um, <laughs> I also went to Bali on my honeymoon which is very amazing Ooh, that um, fantastic. the prairie in CB Valley where we shot the show was very beautiful rolling grass Grayson um, also very very pretty I don't know I love Carmel there's a lot of really beautiful places. I love water. There was a lot of big water theme there. I don't know if you noticed. California, New York. Yes. You've had a lot of good places. Uh, Thompson, what do you think is the most beautiful place you've ever been? Grayson, would you take you? Oh, you're yawning. Most beautiful place I've ever right. been. Is there Sammy? <laughs> oh, oh, keep sorry. Like, no. I have one funny one I and keep one sorry. that's the actual no, you're good. true one. Okay, go ahead. Which one? The one that's going to make everyone laugh or the one that's going to make everyone laugh? How about both? Okay, the one that's going to make everyone laugh but isn't exactly true is the apple skewer. <laughs> And the one that is true is... The Apple Store? No! Oh. <laughs> the Bahamas! Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, next Grayson, question. Grayson, where's the most beautiful place you've ever oh. been, sweetheart? Put your legs down. Where's the most beautiful place you've ever been? <laughs> it's like right here. The soccer field? <laughs> okay. Okay, my, okay, next question. Yeah. Here's something. Here's Give something it to us. Here's something that I really want you to answer. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Right there. Oh. What do you, you think, think about? about when you're by yourself? Wow, who asked that question? Yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Really interesting. Yeah, yeah that's. Whoever asked that question, say it in the live stream chat, and then we'll give you. <laughs> um, this goes back to a chapter in your book. Yeah, no, it's Actually. interesting because that's your so that's so true. Yeah, as it goes um, to a chapter in your book. So a lot of times. Um, I can drive myself crazy. I think a lot of us have this phenomenon. I think especially women. I mean, like yeah, we've been there. I've been there. When you're laying in bed at night and maybe your eyes pop open there. in the middle of the night or you're trying to fall asleep and you kind of almost berate yourself. You're kind of going through everything that you should have done, that you could be doing, that you should be doing. 
and you sort of drive yourself insane. And I've talked to so many people who have this same phenomenon and you at that hour are a little bit irrational. Like you're like, I could fix this now. I need to call this person. I need to set up this tutor. I need to do this. I need to fix this thing in the house. Why haven't I achieved this in my life? At 2 a.m. You know, at 2 a.m. That's what you're thinking. Um, so I kind of go through that. And one of the things that I find that makes a huge difference is to make a list of whatever it is that you're doing and you're thinking about or whatever solution you come up with that you're sure is pure genius. Don't do anything. At 2 <laughs> o'clock in the morning, I've sent emails. Yeah. It never works out well. I never wake up in the morning and say, thank goodness I sent that email where I berated that person. That was such a great idea at 2 a.m. Thank goodness it'll produce just the solution I wanted. No, I've never said that. Instead, you're thinking, How, what are we doing on that? <laughs> you're thinking, I wish I hadn't done that. So I say no emails, make a list of what it is that you're thinking about, put it down on paper, whether it's a question or a solution or whatever it is, give it over to the list for a night and then lay back down. And I then try and think about That's something. That's a good idea. Thank you. Everybody out there watching that, try that. Thank you. That is one of my favorite chapters I in I give book, it over actually. to the list and I go sure. back to sleep and I try and think about something medium happy. My dad always said that he thinks about baseball because it's just interesting enough and just boring <laughs> enough that it holds your attention but then you fall asleep. Now is your baseball equivalent, whatever that is. I think of quantum physics. You do. That's true, that is. Actually. I mean, that is a thing. Okay, think okay. about. Your He's on one. quarks, whatever oh, that is. Yeah. For the next corner? Yeah. Go ahead, mm -hmm. sir. Hey. No. Oh, oh, more <laughs> signing. I was thinking more wine, but like, she's thinking mm -hmm. more signing. <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Look. Here is one living person you would like to meet oh, and why. Oh wow. I have an answer to this. What is this? Do, do you? you want me to go first, or do you want to go first? One living person think, you would like to meet and why. I have to think about it a little more. Yeah. Go ahead. I'll go first. Well, my mom's thinking about it. Stephen Hawking, because he's basically my all-time idol. That's a good one. I love that's him. a really good one. So now I'm supposed to go after that? I'm well, like, oh, that's good. Um, <laughs> come on. You follow that one. Living, they have to be alive. They can't be dead. Queen Elizabeth? Oh, that's good, too. That's a great answer. Now, okay, Grace, cool. oh, Grace, go ahead. Yeah, who would you like? William, because he's my favorite soccer player. Oh, that's a good one. Jamie? I would say Walt Disney. I He's not alive. Him. I thought it was dead or alive. Yeah. Okay, living person. Oh, yeah. but I still like your answer. Walt Disney. It's very revealing. Walt Disney. Oh. Uh, okay, that was good. Keep going. All right, All right. next question. Uh, what's that info Ooh. thing? Oh. Click. Oh, here, let me see. It says, let's go into the reading. Did you ever find the chapter? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, um, oh, right. You were yeah, like, you are oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to do more questions? Uh. We're gonna do yeah, the. We're gonna, mm -hmm. We have a quote in there. That was good, Thompson. Here sure, you go. I, can do more questions. I don't right, know. There you go. Having him. So Melissa's gonna read the a, a was such a great snippet idea. of her book. Okay. Her favorite part. Oh, this part, is what we were talking about. And the a lesson she was talking about earlier. Don't, don't, don't punch him. Uh -oh. When I listen to any of today's super women telling ladies everywhere that they can have it all if we just try a little harder, if we just lean in, I let out a long, deep sigh. I want to hand the other women who are listening and now covered in nervous hives a nice glass of boxed wine, well this isn't boxed, but still, and say, here's my advice, don't lean in. In fact, sit down and take a load off and have a glass of Cheers mommy's time that. out or mm -hmm. whatever it is. Great quote. Mm -hmm. oh, wait, mommy's I time out. Going yeah, I'm gonna need that. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's gonna turn off. Hang on, let me fix that. Oh yeah, let, oh. <laughs> Oh, you got it? Okay. Technical difficulties. I, I think it's good. I don't think no, we have yeah, to announce that no we're having yeah, any no Did you get the Facebook live stream comments yet? For me? I think she might have. Did you um, because if you did, I'd love to see them. Wow. Um, okay. I think she did. Oh, should we do 22 questions Let's while do we're doing it. that? That would be so fun. Sure. Can you get that set up while we do these? It comes through on there. Oh, oh, the 22 oh. questions does? Okay, all right, so here no, we no. go. No, no, He's saying he the Facebook. The That's Facebook. Facebook. Those are Facebook questions. Oh, the, okay. The Facebook live stream. That's Facebook stuff. live stream, hon. No, yes. I mean the stream of people commenting. So the comments, I think she has them over here. Can yep, she's got them. them. Mm -hmm. oh. Which ones are they? Uh, well, can you also pull up a display of all the comments? Mm. No, you can see them afterwards. 
Afterwards, okay. there you go. <laughs> so, Perfect. Let's see. Do you want to do I have to learn that. She just said no to him. Do you want to see She's like, no, he's like, okay. Um, why don't we could play our fun 22 questions Are you ready? In two minutes. Let's do it. It's two minutes. It's going to be really fun. Okay. Um, it's Carl. No, no. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah, just just hang tight. One second. 22 questions? Yes. So we're going to do 22 questions in two minutes. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can do this challenge. Are you ready? It's going to be fast. Rapid fire. Who inspires you most? Stephen Hawking. Thompson. And Grayson. Who would you like to trade places with if you could? Uh, Oprah. Anybody? Oh, that's a good one. Anybody? Who is the fictional Anybody? character you'd love to meet? Um, fictional character that I would love to meet. Ooh, that's all. Yeah, that one. is a tough one. Uh oh, it's counting down. Oh no! Uh, we gotta get this. Um, fictional character that I would love to meet. Oh, Willy Wonka. Ash Ketchum. Ooh, that's a good one. Or Pokemon. Ash Ooh, Ketchum. okay. I don't and know who that Pikachu. is. Darth Vader. I know Pikachu. C three PO. Or two Skywalker. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a good next. one. I like Ray from the new Star Wars. Who makes you laugh the most? Oh, who these makes two people right here. I agree. Me. I think you guys make me I laugh. Make myself laugh. You make me, me laugh. I like that. You make me laugh. Who's the most unexpected person? He's covered in bananas. Unexpected person in your phone. Unexpected person in what? In my phone. Most unexpected person in my phone. Well. I have an iPad, but the most unexpected person. Um, Kathy Lee Gifford? Ooh, that's a the good one. The most unexpected person on my iPad is my friend Victoria. I never thought I'd get her email. Ooh. What? All right. Who's that? Oh, she's this <laughs> long story. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Mm, oh. Victoria's a friend from school, but she left school, but she still comes for like Halloween because she's oh. going to be coming over for Christmas. Interesting. And... No, no, no. Okay, keep going. Yes. <laughs> Who is the last person you called and texted? Who's the last person I call and texted? You. Yay. My mom. I like that answer. Woo. How about you? He doesn't call and text. <laughs> Love him. Who, what one thing do you need to have in your fridge at all times? What, um. I know, I was going to say the same thing. I need. And water. Wait, does it have to be in a fridge? Mm, something, what about yeah. You, Any uh, food item? Yeah. Okay, chocolate bar. Nice. What about you, Gigi? Ooh, we have less than 30 minutes left. Oh yeah, this is going fast. Yeah, this going real. Favorite food? What's your banana? Favorite food, it's all over your shirt. I think it's probably bananas. Probably bananas. No, there were chicken. He loves chicken. Chicken? Oh, Chicken's that's a good one. Food. Okay, next one. My boyfriend cooks Wait, wait, chicken. can you do? <clears throat> Hang on, he does a great chicken impression. Yeah, you do. Here's my oh, chicken impression. We need you. Can I do mine? That's, like, that's impressive. Wait, that is actually impressive. It is. He's a method actor. So that's what impressive. is it that you visualize in order to do that? Throwing up golf balls. <laughs> oh, throwing. Oh, okay. That's how he does it. He, he imagines that he's throwing up golf balls. Can that's I how he gets into the character mine? of a chicken. That's <laughs> impressive, too. Nice. You guys, I need to practice nice. mine. I can't even give you one. If you weren't on Fox News, what would you be doing? Uh, oh, that's easy. I, I would be uh, a comedy writer. You would be. You're funny. I would. I wrote you a pilot. You are the funniest person I've met. You Next are question. funny. It's coming. It's in the book. Pilot. She's funny. Trust I'm going to be a comedy writer. You'll laugh. Actually, so You'll I have to say, book. my goal with this book more than anything else was to make you cry laughing. I, I thought about selling it. it with an adult undergarment because it's one of those things that I hope as you read it, it you know, you you'll laugh. laugh until you cry or whatever. So the, my main point was to really make you laugh, and I hope that you. I mean, you're enjoy hilarious. It. In your yeah, book. yeah, yeah. If you win the game, you are I'm not like a the book. Type person, your personality shines thing. out. I Let's like that answer. You could totally got me. Okay, what is the last gift you gave or received? Last gift I gave or received it had to be the last gift I received, and that would be this scam flapping bird that's supposed to fly but does not fly. From my grandma, which was like, poor Gigi. I, but it's okay, Gigi. I still love you. <laughs> this, this is the last gift I got. My beautiful um, hair. Oh, I love oh, this. Yes. I, I actually Flowers. still love it on your head. Do you? I, I love it too. It's very Does fun. this mic work? What item would you die to get your hands on if it went up for auction? Wait, what item? Oh, well, I just watched the young Victoria or Victoria, so I would like the crown. Okay, all right. Yeah. You want a crown? Ooh, you need a that's crown. I, I really need a crown. Obviously, there's a theme here going on. What that cause? Is, yeah, what would you want? What would I want? Ooh, that's really hard. G, how about you? Mm. Uh, so cute. I don't know. I, that, I have to think about that. Soccer team? You want the whole team. I like that. Now, uh, wait, you so, want to be a team owner. 
guarantee. I, I love it. Gonna sign this. Oh, more signs. I'll yeah, sign a book so that can, yeah. people can get. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. Well, 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 let's wait. I know. Yeah, I don't think we can do that. What was your favorite movie as a kid? For me to sign. Favorite movie as a kid. Oh, favorite movie as wait, but I am a kid. Yes. My favorite movie. Favorite movie as Thompson's age. Oh, my favorite movie. Wait, but Grayson hasn't been my age yet. Mm, okay, as Grayson's age. Okay. My favorite movie has to be Wally. Nice. I love Wally. When I was a kid, I loved watching Pippi Longstocking. That would always replay oh, on KTLA one. Channel 5 in oh. LA. And it was the movie, and she had the red braids, and I wanted my mm -hmm. braids to be the same. And my mom told me you just had to put wire <laughs> in them. So I would braid my hair and try and put something in them to make them do the whole mm -hmm. Pippi Longstocking thing. And then we'd sit on the bed, like how she floated in the water on the bed. You're with me. Come on. You yeah, know, you I remember those. Awesome. It was awesome. I mean, how okay. is it that Grace is raising his hand? Three. Okay. Sorry, Grace is raising his hand. Yes. And then you guys, I think, are going to bed for the end of this. Oh. Well, oh. at the end of this, can we go to bed? Uh, I, I mean, it's so far past your bedtime at this point. It's like... Okay, here's a question. Sort of all lost Six cause. more questions of the 22. So we're a little okay. over two minutes, but that's all right. We'll go. We'll, do, we'll go. Yeah, we're all we're having fun. All right, we got, we got this. What's the last movie you saw in the theaters? Oh. Oh, last movie. Oh, we did it together. Boss oh. Baby. Boss Baby. Oh, oh you guys saw Boss Baby? Yeah, at Albany. They what? Have this little theater. Was it good? It was great. We're not going to tell any spoilers to you who haven't watched it. We're, we're not going to say any spoilers. Yes, it was excellent. And so was the popcorn. Okay. What's one skill you wish? You had one skill I wish I had. Juggling. Ooh, that's a good one. Can you juggle? No. Um. No. Being able to do flying. No, to fly. Yeah, flying. I wish what I about could you, fly. Eugene? Oh, lasers through my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you need lasers coming out of your eyes. You want to shoot lasers from your eyes? <laughs> you can, you can okay, heat up food super <laughs> fast. You could heat up food really fast. Okay. That is an excellent Okay, let's answer that. this question. Okay, sorry. Okay. Do you have any hidden talents? Any hidden talents? Mm -hmm. I don't know. If I did, then I wouldn't know. I think you do. Okay. Hidden What's next talents? Mm -hmm. um, hidden talents. I'm really flexible. Oh. Yeah? Like I can. Yeah? Yes. What's your hidden um, talent? I'm really flexible. Really good tap dancer. <laughs> you are really you good are? tap dancer. Oh, that's so true. Can we see some time? Yeah, not here because we don't have it like a we the right space for you. Are, he is a great tap dancer. That's really cute. Okay. okay. What's next? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Where do I see myself in 10 I years? I see myself even younger in 10 years. Mm -hmm. I see myself in college. Nice. Where are you going like to college? You are 10 uh, Harvard. Years. Nice. 10 hey, years. Oh, yeah, you will be in college. In 10 years. Getting a driver's license. That's what I that, see Chris saying for me. That's what I was going to say. Gonna I have, see him giggling. He's going to have lasers in his eye. He's going to be stupid. Okay, is how many more questions? Okay. Where do you want to go that you've never been? Where do I want to go that I've Gosh, never been? Everywhere. everywhere. I know. Um, no, the International Chelsea Space Station. Game. Wow. Chelsea That's a good game. one. Maybe Chelsea even Mars. Game. Inter Mars. Mars. Wow. You will. You're I haven't Chelsea been to China. I really want to go to Egypt. I haven't been to Egypt. I mean, I your book, you've pyramids. been to a lot of places, though. You're talking yeah. about North Korea. Yeah. You've been to a lot of places. Are we going to do this? Well, mm, um, that one's no. coming. Oop, yeah. Almost. Yeah. It's Oop. Little... Or should we go to. Okay. All right. All right. Mm. So, where would you spend retirement? Where would Bahamas? I spend retirement? Bahamas. 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 Next, um, what's the, what is that mean? it? Where would you spend retirement? One more. Oh, one more? Okay. Bahamas. Uh, Chelsea soccer? Uh, <laughs> okay, we'll come that's back like to a, you. No, yeah, I feel you. I feel like that all the time. How do you take your coffee or tea? I, I don't have, like, coffee or tea, so... You I don't? don't. I'm a kid. Okay, so can I tell one of the, are we done with that one? That yes, was very that fun. Was I like um, mine almost like ice cream with tons of cream and a ridiculous amount of Splenda and it really grosses like, my husband oh, out because he's oh. like, you might as well be having ice cream. So one of the stories that we talk about in this book that is very close to my heart is these are not my only children. I have a baby daughter who's yes. already in bed. What is She's her name? She's so stinky. Gemma, G-E-M-M-A. Okay. Yes. She is adorable. She, she is looks very like a little cute. Melissa. Literally she is very cute, and we love her Melissa. to death, but she was our miracle. She is our joy baby because I have a rare blood condition. When I had both of these boys, it turned out we didn't know I had it beforehand, but it was very difficult. You know, we sort of go through some of the grisly details. It was life-threatening. Obviously, we all turned out okay because we're all here, 
but I couldn't have any more children. And Gemma is a gift to us from an incredibly generous and wonderful surrogate family. And I know that a lot of people are curious about that process and, and also what it's like. And, you know, I have sort of a unique perspective because I have both children that I carried and had, and then I have another child who's also genetically their sister, but who I didn't carry and actually have. And, um, you know, people have asked me, how is that different? What is it like? And I'm not gonna spoil it here. Yo. But there's a whole chapter yes. about it here and what that experience was like. And um, I sobbed as I wrote the whole chapter and I can't read it without, in fact, when we recorded the audio, we had to stop a bunch of times because it just brings such tears to my eyes. But that whole journey is in here. And if you've had any challenges, um, you know, with expanding your family and stuff, you could probably relate to this chapter. We've been so incredibly blessed and she is the sweetest little baby in the whole entire world. She's the and cutest little munchkin I have ever seen. She's so She cute. is so she such a great walk. Wait, She can walk. She walks and today she does before walk. Melissa got home, she grabbed her milk, she was done, she walked into bed and she went to bed and closed the door. <laughs> she she was ready for bed. Crazy. She was done. Yeah. She's eighteen months. She knows okay. what she wants. I no, love she's her. Twenty months. Okay. She's a sweetheart. Okay. I love her. I just have three kids. So Let's the exact answer age this is question. a little off. Okay. Yes. Is there a deal breaker in any relationship? Why did you pick that one? Is there a, ooh, I that's like, like it. a deal I thought breaker? That was right right you know what my deal breaker is? If, if anyone spends too much time online, you know, like on their electronic or their iPad. That's me. No, no. It's not you. No, that is me. Like too oh. obsessed with this. You have to admit thing. it. That is yeah. me. No. Uh, what else do we have going? Because it's your bedtime. You want to have it's another so question? Far. You know their bedtime is 8 o'clock, and it's but not they were having 8 o'clock. Do you need party. another question? They were sure. so cute. Okay, let's see. Thank you. No, it's nine oh, here's, all, here's a good one. We've been doing it for 9 and 2. Let's see. Um, what, what would you, you say the odds are of a kid successfully becoming a child actor? Hmm. Being from the Midwest, I have no idea how many parents are auditioning their children for these roles, it's really hard. Um, What's the odds? So it used to be one in a zillion, but it, it used to be oh, a function of, oh no, really? Oh, that oh. means it's so far past your bedtime. Okay, so it used, to be a it used to be a function of who lived in LA, because it was kind of all about you had to be there to audition and to be on it. It's still like that to a certain extent, but with technology, you can at least audition and stuff online. One of the big things, and I talk about this a lot in the book, is that it takes all of the commitment of a parent who wants to, who's so desperate for their kid to do it and wants to do it for them so much that they're willing to constantly take them and get, the, get your hair done, get the photos, go on the auditions, do the acting lessons. It's just sort of endless and you don't know if it's ever gonna pay off. So it takes the total commitment of a parent the other thing that people don't realize about child actors is that they're kids that are super cooperative. Because basically you're standing in front of, and we, and we talk about this a lot in the book, but it's like, but you're, you're basically, if you imagine your little child going into a room by themselves, because you're not in there, and then they see a bunch of adults that they've never met, and they have to instantly perform. And one of the scenes that we talk about is when I went in to try out for Little House on the Prairie, and it was a crying scene because that, you know, is what my character did a ton. And it's not like how if you were doing it, you would have the chance to sort of sit in the corner and think about something very sad. You kind of come in and you're cheerful and you introduce yourself, hi, you know, it's my name, whatever, and you do like a nice scene. And then all of a sudden, they throw you into the crying scene where you're supposed to instantly turn on the waterworks. And for an eight-year-old child or nine-year-old child who's trying to act as opposed to trying to get you to buy them a toy, it can be hard to turn on the waterworks that quickly, especially when you're in a room with the door closed with no one you've ever met. Um, so it's kind of, it's like a bizarre setup. I could turn on the waterworks. You can. Time. In fact, that's he another story chat, that's in the book. I can do it right now. Anybody, it's one of no, my no. favorites. I, I think everyone believes you. Um, but that's, that's in the book. Oh, gee, are you sleeping I back know. there? I just are you ready for the next question? Here, um, anyway, so it's in very meantime. hard, and it's not the things that you think. It's not like necessarily about your act. Oh, okay, Dee Dee. Can you go? Dad's right there Can off camera. Mm -hmm. um, no, I think it's time for everybody no! to go. No! Come on, I want to save time. Time for bed. No. No, I'm no. 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 Uh, Sorry. Uh -oh. I love you dearly. Oh, but you really okay. did a great okay. job. Take your right. You were great. No. Wait, can we all give him a big round of applause? Yes! Woo! And we gotta, we're going to get you those Facebook comments. All right, let's go. Or no electronics tomorrow. I love you. Great Thank job. You Thank this. you for doing it. You're the best. Thank, Thank you. you. You're the best. I know. You're wonderful. All right, this is okay. you.
All right, great, great. Bye. All right, bye, guys. I love you. Oh, I don't oh. want to go. I know, you're so cute. I don't want to go. I know, but your dad's right there. I love you. Have a dance party. No dance party. <laughs> no dance party. Bed. It's so far past. Thank you for helping, but it's like super past your bedtime. All right, love dance you. Dance party. Okay, all right. Okay. No dance party. Okay. Falling off. Is it? No, it looks good. Okay, you good. look so cute. Okay, so what accomplishment are you most proud of? Wow. Um, I am definitely, I don't know if it's an accomplishment, but I am most proud of my family. Uh, minus volume. Because um, volume's good. they are definitely the light of my life, and I... Again, we talk about this in the book, but I waited a really long time. My husband and I were married for eight years before we had kids. And, um, you know, we were one of those couples who we had so much fun doing our thing. And we were both so into our careers that we kind of waited forever. And then when we had them, we were like, oh, why did we wait? They're so wonderful. Um, so I think that's definitely the thing that makes me the happiest. Yeah. So it's the thing that I'm mo probably most proud of. I mean, the, the other thing that I, I'm proud of is that over time I've learned how to, when you get really crushed by something, how to scrape myself up off the ground and keep going. And it's a really valuable skill because as I'm sure everybody watching this right now can relate, um, that you get crushed in the undertow of life so many times. And that ability to pick yourself up off the ground and to go on and do something else or even do something better is, invaluable because it's going to happen again and once you've done it once then the next time you get knocked down to your knees no matter how hopeless it looks you know i've picked myself up before i know i can do it again and i have put together a little formula that i actually use myself of the steps to kind of turn disaster into golden opportunity mm -hmm. and i've done speaking engagements on this and it's in, it's also in the book and it is a foolproof formula to get yourself to that next level. And um, I, I only say that because I myself used it so many times before I ever wrote it down. And I think that that's probably, besides my family, might be my favorite accomplishment because it's really hard. It really is hard. I mean, it's really one hard. One of the, my favorite quotes you say in your book is there's something satisfyingly cocky about giving failure the middle finger <laughs> and aiming higher. Because she does all the time, and Aww. I take it with me. I love that quote. Thank you. I was like, I cried that's after so that. I love that. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, next that's one. That's so sweet, but it's it's really true. It's true. It's yeah. really true. You right. gotta say, you know what? You didn't kill me. In fact, you made me stronger. I'm gonna do better right. than whatever it is you just took from me. And watch this. Yeah. And I'm gonna watch you the entire way. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. What's on your <laughs> bucket list this wow, year? Wow, that's who wrote that? Wow, that's a good question. They get a baggie Thank you for that. They should get a baggie for that. Oh yeah, we we, we oh shucks. Away our okay, baggies. all right. Any ooh, we have not given away enough of our stuff. Okay, yeah, okay. this is true. All right, we so need to mm -hmm. for our neck for our four next favorite quote quotes on Facebook. Little you're gonna comments get a baggie. on Facebook. Yep. What are they supposed to do? Wait. So you're also gonna sign one of these lovely 1870 bonnets <laughs> that we have here that we modeled for at one point. We're bringing it back to, oh, see, look, oh, that looks good. I mean, you look cute. I, I told you, this yeah. is good. Okay, she so we'll good. sign, gonna gonna sign say, this. The next best comment that comes in right now, we're gonna sign this and send this to you. It comes to you for free. And All you're right. gonna get a baggie, it's gonna be lovely. And then we also have these beautiful headbands that we're gonna give away, because this is kind of like my silly, so I like to. They look so cute on you. On Halloween, I just wear a crown, because obviously. So. When you were the force, though. <laughs> when <laughs> she. That was good too. She we all dressed up as year. Star Wars characters, but I didn't wear a costume. I just wore a poster that said the Force because I am the Force she behind the force. this family. I mean, um, anyway, so I also like the tiaras, and I love this rose yeah, one very cute. much. Yeah, so you wear that. Love Where it. Where were we? So, I need all more right, wine. so we're gonna. Okay, here. I'll, yeah, all right. So and then I'm kidding. With we're that. gonna. Are we ready? Ooh, I kind of like this one. Whoever wrote this, you might win. Oh yeah, what is it? Okay. Well, oh, oh, our, wait, we didn't do oh, the, the bucket, bucket list. Shucks, we okay, okay, we'll do that first, and we'll do this one. Okay, the bucket list. So the bucket list for this year. You lost your coaster. Uh, oh, well, here it is. Um, bucket list. I don't even want to, I don't know, it's hard. I don't want to say that. I mean, I feel like, yeah, really wait, I don't yeah, to I mean, I You might, go first. Might be in the book. I don't really know. If, I don't know. Oh, so your God. bucket list for this year. For this year? That's a tough one. Year's almost over. Um, no, it's not. All right. It's April. Um, You're oh dodging. God. I don't know. Bungee jump? I don't know. I've never done that. That's crazy. What about you? Mm. 
I mean, this is tough. I don't know. I haven't I thought like, about it. Finish your pilot and get it. All right. Yeah, she's gonna there. get this in the next book. So if you buy yeah. the next book, okay. Oh shucks, I hit it again, and I should. Oh. Do you keep in touch with anyone else from Little mm. House on the Prairie? So, also in the book, um, I. So Melissa Gilbert was so generous and awesome when my first book came out. She was in New York, and we met for dinner, and she was so wonderful. She gave me really great advice about going back out on the book trail, and um, it was a really touching experience because it was like to me, it's like seeing your second grade boyfriend you know, after like all these years, you know, like you see someone from your childhood that you had these ideas about but who you haven't seen forever. And it was so interesting when I walked in and I saw her and I heard her voice, it took me instantly back. And I'm sure that you all would have the exact same sensation because she narrated all those episodes. But when you hear that cute, like lisp thing that she has, that's, that is so uniquely her and is so charming and so delicious. And I heard that and I was instantly back in my childhood on the prairie. And it was funny too, because I was so nervous before I saw her, which, you know, is, I don't know. I mean, I, yeah, it's kind of it's embarrassing. Kind of, but, but at the same was, time, yeah, no, she. Anyway, it was, it was great. And so, she, yeah, she's been amazing. Yep. And, um, she, you know, she's, so she's kept in touch. Allison Nelly, she was she was wonderful too. Totally reached out. She had just done her own book, and she had so many great ideas and stuff. And other people now that there's so much social media, um, you know, the women or girls that played Carrie, uh, Rachel and Robin, amazing. Um, so yeah, Nancy. there's been a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of yeah. them. So what's your favorite TV show right now? Ooh. This person gets the yeah. bonnet. <gasps> that was, I mean, this question crushed it. Because you want the bonnet. Because you want the. Because you're gonna it wear looks, it to honestly, work, it looks cute right? On her. No, no, it doesn't. It does. I know you want the bonnet. What is your favorite TV show right now? That's hard because I do love, I love, I love everything that streams. Um, oh yeah, I'll send this right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I love. I know. I don't even know if I. Well, the I Americans. Oh, that's um, a good one. Yeah, I love the Americans. That's a good one. Yeah, I love Veep. I, I love seen Silicon that one. Valley. Um, we're noticing a theme here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Silicon Valley. Um, I'm trying to think. What are my other? Ray, what are our favorite shows? Veep. I know. He, I gotta he tune into Veep. 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 I have to we get into Veep. Veep now. We love Veep. Um, Homeland. Veep. What? Yeah. Veep. Uh, we also love The League. I love The League. What's that? The League on FX? Stop <laughs> it. The is that? Show. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, oh she's my God, kidding. Yes. That? I don't know. Yes. No, we love The League. Um, I feel like I'm behind oh. on the TV. but I, I love all of those. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Those are really bad. I love Homeland, although I do yeah. love this year's finale, right? I mean, the finale is always like a little rough on that show. Do you watch Vampire Diaries? No, what is that? I'm like kind of obsessed. I watched like eight seasons in really? in like three weeks. It's really addicting. I know it's really it's like it's a guilty pleasure. I don't I, I hated the first two episodes and then I was completely hooked. Wow. You should get into it. Yeah. All right. What has been your favorite story to cover at Fox? Whew. Well, it's the last election. I mean, come on. I mean, there was something for everyone in that one. Um, every day is. I remember, and we probably shouldn't tell the story you were well. here for this one, but we will anyway, just for you guys. So when the first time that President Trump came out, you remember the escalator, you know, when Melania came down in that white outfit, which was amazing and two-piece, and you could kind of see I mean, into the top, yeah. and she's fabulous. She rocked it. <laughs> she I mean, did. she, she rocked it. Good. She's she amazing. Good. But so they came down the escalator, yeah. and we had had our show meeting beforehand, and our producer, who was also watching this, sorry, Jill, Jill said, so, you know, he's going to come out and say he's not running, like, all before, so we'll do, like, 30 seconds on that, and then we'll move on. And we all agreed, because we agreed with her. We did not think he was going to say he, he was going to run. <laughs> so he comes out, and he starts the speech, and he starts going and going, and then he starts talking about these themes, and you're like, all of a sudden, people are standing up and listening. And another producer, who shall rename, remain nameless, came out and said... As a television producer, more than anything in the world, I want this man to be president of the United States because we all knew <laughs> it would be the story of a lifetime, which it absolutely has. It so has that been. has been Every my day favorite. Has been it a... continues to be my favorite story it has to cover. Been. You're right, it's, and it's still fun. Yes. All right, so I signed the bond. That was the. We have, we one, have more. one more. We have one more vintage, very so, vintage. So wow us, Ugh. wow us. God, I'm with your comments. Me. Okay, so go to Melissa Book, buy your book, make your comment, yeah, and you gotta we make a will. Comment. Send you the other bonnet. Because you you want to wear it, right? I think you should wear the bonnet for a little uh, while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Come on. So we do have another question from a viewer. This one's blue. What is your favorite show to be on at Fox and why? Ooh, that's tough. Um, she's on so many. She's on. 
No. A day, no, some uh, days. So some I days love stuff. the group shows because they're so much fun. I love Outnumbered in the Five. Um, because yeah, so it's so, so much fun. fun. You're so oh, funny. yours is further forward. Does um, it look better okay. forward or back? Okay. Anyway, um, I love those shows because everybody's a lot of fun and it's great to interact with people and to argue and mix it up. And then we have a lot of fun during the breaks. We're like, it's all good. Um, so I love doing both of those shows. That's a good one. And, and you're awesome on Fox business on our yes. Fox business show. I love David Asman, my partner on after the bell. Mm -hmm. He's such a great guy. He's so funny. He is. He's, he's really nice. He's really good. He just got an iPhone, actually. So he's tuning wow, in he on his iPhone. finally got an iPhone. He did. He's tuning in on his iPhone. Nice. It's lovely. So as a quick reminder, guys, you can go to melissabook.com and buy all of these books, all of these lovely Shall I find signed, some more? very special books. Yes. Let's give you a couple more books to sign. And I promise you will laugh until you embarrass yourself. So your favorite chapter in the book. Ooh. That's tough. Okay. So my favorite chapter in the book is probably, um, I would say that I get more. So, I'm, uh, you know, a lot of other people, as I write, I gain more confidence. So I think it gets funnier towards the end. Um, I loved turn it off, then turn it back on that again. That was my favorite. It was my favorite chapter. Is that the end? I think that you'll, we had kind of a hard time recording that chapter for audio because we were laughing really hard. I also like show them your cellulite. Yes, that one's good. Because that one is very empowering. See, I think once you, you get to a certain age where you're like, you know what, forget it, I don't care. And I like try I don't not care. to be a I lunatic. Mean, that was good. <gasps> try not because to be a lunatic. Because we've all been there, we're all, great. we're all little nuts. And like that chapter honestly resonates with any age group, oh. anyone, try not to be a lunatic. It's true, just don't So care. I was writing that chapter, I wrote, try not to be a lunatic if at all possible. And my husband looks over my shoulder and he sees it and he goes, how's that going for you? And then he sped <laughs> off. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I mean, that is a true story. Of course, I threw the computer at him after he left, but that's okay. Because it could be tough. I mean, I no, think... No, it's true. It's hard, right? Isn't it hard not to be a lunatic sometimes when you get, like, super crazy and you're like, I have to stop? I mean, I feel you. My boyfriend can... I mean, trust me. It was, like, yesterday or the day before. But it happens all the time. Okay, so... Wait, I didn't sign 20. Okay, oh, so that right. was... That's probably my favorite chapter. I also, like, on a much more serious note, um, there is Are You There, God? It's Me, Melissa, which is... That one's funny. The Power of Faith in My Life, which sounds more you know, out of places we talk about these other funny chapters, but it is truly, we do go to church every Sunday as a family and it is very powerful to me. I went to Catholic school and parochial school growing up and it's always been my way on Sunday to go and reset and start fresh and to kind of reflect on kind of the petty Everything, things I did yeah. during the week. No, you know, it's embarrassing to say that no, we no, all, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, we all, I mean, yeah, those things that you do that you not her, but yeah. regret and to refocus on what's really important in your life, on my family, on how I can be a better person and to know that you have a fresh start. That's it. You sit there and you think about it and you kind of come out counting your blessings and thinking about all the things that are great in your life. And it's a really important it reset yep. in every week. And anyway. So there's a whole chapter on that. If you like it, great. Okay, if guys. If it's too much for you, just skip it. So we have, we actually do a really good one. I think someone oh, gets a baggie for this. Oh. Okay. What's your bigger, biggest regret in life? <sighs> it's a tubby. I don't know if we give you a baggie or we smack you in the face for that right. one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Kidding, well, we'll kidding. go with baggie. We'll go with baggie. Um, my biggest regret. So when I was a junior in high school... I was invited to join the director's program at USC Film School, okay. the Steven Spielberg program, which was really hard to get into. And But I was at this point where I didn't want to be in Hollywood and didn't want to be in acting anymore. And now that I am so much older, um, I love the visual art of film and movie making. And um, what drew me to news one of the things was putting the story together and sort of weaving the quilt of what is your story with the sound and the pictures and the words. And I love writing is really so much my passion. This is, is really my passion project of everything I do is writing. So putting it together in the story form, as I look back on all of that, I feel like directing would be so satisfying artistically. And I kind of regret that that directing. was right good. there. So I didn't want to do it because it was so much like what I had done, but now so much later, right. you're like, hmm. But anyway, I don't know if it's a huge regret because by not going to USC and instead going across the country, 
I met my husband, I had my family, and I have the life I have now, which I love. So it's not, I wouldn't say it's my biggest regret, but it's something that I didn't pay a ton of attention to at the time that could have been. Right. So we do have a lovely question about our wine. (gasps) Oh. Someone is asking Wait, about... somebody wins like wine or something for that. Someone's asking about Mommy's Time Out, so okay. give us a little synopsis of where okay. Mommy's Time Out came from. So, um, first of all, I thought that we should have... I think they need to profit share with us after this. So if you're the Mommy's Time Out people, let's talk. Um, but, so it was originally... It's very inexpensive. I won't say cheap. Um, and somebody gave it to me as a joke. And because obviously, you know, it's like on the bottle, you see mom kicking back. It's delicious. It's, it is delicious. It is, it's hysterical to me because it's sort of like when I send my kids to timeout and there was this one time that my son sent me to timeout and I was like, oh no, please don't throw me in the briar patch. And I went back and sat in my bed and they're like, ha ha, mom's in a room in timeout because all we ever want as moms is to kind of like yeah. sit back and be in timeout. That's kind of the joke of this wine. But um, anyway, so somebody gave it to me as a joke and I liked it. So I call and, you know, we'll like order a case or two or three from the wine store and they chuckle when I call because it's kind of like satirical and not super expensive and screw top and all those sort of things. Delicious. And I think it's wonderful and I don't shy away from it at all. In fact, tomorrow Mm -hmm. I am going on the Today Show with Hoda and Kathy Lee at 10. Please tune in. And, you know, they like their wine. I love them both. They are fabulous people, but they do like their wine. So I'm going to bring them a little gift. I like people who like wine. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. No, it is. So Mommy's Time Out. We're not leaving the house and going driving. So you can order Mommy's Time Out. I guess, but I want a cut of the profits or something. I should have worked that out ahead of time. I'm going to talk to those people. We're going to sign this bottle for the person who asked that question, and you're going to get a bottle of Mommy's Time Out. Really? How are we going to mail that? Well, we're working on it. Yeah. We're going to think about that. Yeah, we're going to think about that. Guys, we are coming to the end of our... What? I know, of our hour. It's so sad. I'm very sad about this. I actually am very sad because I've learned a lot from this book, Lessons from the Prairie. Oh. Melissa Francis is lovely. Thank you, you will love her. I you love can watch her everywhere. You, you're my favorite person so in the cute. world. Please buy this book. Do yourself a favor. Lessons from the Prairie at melissabook.com. Yes. You know why we really have to go? Because I'm not convinced those two boys are sleeping. I gotta go check. I hear them having a disco party oh, in there. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go work on that. You have a little mommy's time out. Thank you for joining us. We had so much fun. Cheers. Bye. Oh Bye. yeah, cheers. Cheers. Uh, cut and print.